Hi all, uh, today we are going to discuss about expression tree. Expression tree is very simple, it's a representation of an expression in the form of a tree. Okay, consider we are having an expression like this, a plus b slash c plus e slash f star g plus k minus x star y. We are going to create a bi binary tree for this expression. So we have two way uh, for uh, creating a binary uh, expression tree. First one, we can convert this one into a POSFIS expression, and then we can uh, create a binary tree. But almost all the time for the examination, university examination, uh, expression creation uh, for expression creation, uh, they are asking for three marks, maximum three marks or four marks. So at that time, if you are trying to convert this one into postfix and then to expression tree, it is time consuming. So I am discussing about how to simply, okay, how to simply create a binary uh, expression tree from this expression. Okay, for that we have uh, these rules. Okay, uh, in this expression tree we have operands there, operators are there. So operands are. Uh, always be in the leaf position okay we, in a binary tree we have a root node internal node and leaf node root node internal node and leaf nodes okay all the in all the operands are available in the leaf level okay leaf node okay next operators are the internal nodes here we have to consider for creating the binary uh, tree binary tree for this expression tree we have to uh, think about this priority of the operators. Here we have uh, operators like star, slash, plus, minus and in without in this expression we don't have this power symbol but power symbol also are considered as an operator. In this case uh, we have to just split these operators based on this priority. So power is having, the mo having more priority than uh, highest priority. Star and slash is having less priority than power but more priority than plus and minus and plus and minus is having less priority than that of uh, power star and slash next for creating this binary tree expression tree we just want to think about the uh, association rule so for scanning the expression for creating the binary tree we have to uh, if it is a uh, power symbol then we have to scan from right to left if it is a star or slash symbol, then we have to scan it from left to right. If it is a plus and minus, we have to scan it from left to right. So left to right is the scanning method for a star, slash, plus and minus. And the rule for uh, creating the expression tree is all the operands are in the leaf node. All the operators are internal nodes. The priority of the operators is, should be considered. So these are the cases that we have to think about. In this case, we have an expression like a star b slash c plus e uh, slash f star g plus k minus x star y. So in this case, the, th the common uh, thing is the root node will have the operator with the least priority. That is the important thing. So in this case, consider we are going to scan this expression from left to right. So which one is having the least priority that will be considered as the root one. Okay, In this case plus uh, star is there, slash is there, plus is there, minus is there. Uh, star, is, star and slash is having highest priority than that of plus and minus. But in our case uh, plus and minus is the least priority operators. Among that plus and minus which one comes the last if you are scanning from left to right. So here minus is the operator that comes last uh, having the least priority. So I am taking this minus as a root node and placing here, I am going to place this minus here, okay, minus is placed here, then we, we are going to split this expression into two, okay. Uh, these are the left subtree elements and these are the right subtree elements. So I am creating a <coughs> tree like that okay so from this one to up to k will be in the left subtree and 
the other one the other part right sub 3 will be like this okay x star y so this is the way that we are creating a binary tree for a expression tree so we got two sub tree sub tree elements okay uh, we finalize that minus is a root and elements before minus will be considered as the elements in the left subtree and elements after minus is considered as uh, elements in the right subtree okay minus is fixed and uh, we are uh, okay creating a tree like this okay Uh, beautification will not work because we don't we don't want to spend the time for a beautification okay here uh, now we are going to take this one this particular uh, left uh, right subtree we don't have multiple operators here we have only one operator so we can simply split like this star will be the uh, star will be uh, the parent node and uh, x will be the right sub uh, right element uh, x will be the left element and uh, y will be the right element so I'm going to insert okay. x. Then I'm not going to spend time for beautification, okay? Because I don't want to make this video more lengthy. Why? Okay. Uh, so right part of the root is over so I completed this one right part of the tree and the left part also completed okay this part is over next we are going to take care of this left subtree in this case we are going to scan it from left to right uh, here the operator is with operator with the list priority is uh, plus and where it is occurred first we we have one plus here and uh, then we have another plus here at the last so we are taking the plus uh, plus symbol at the last for uh, considering as the parent element so here uh, I am taking this elements are in the left subtree of this tree okay I cut this one and I created a new one here. Okay. Okay. Adding the element here. Okay. In this case, I am going to reduce the size of this tree, uh, this node, because uh, we finalized the parent node. We finalized that plus is going to be the parent for this particular uh, uh, expression. Okay. And uh, the elements before plus is considered as the left element and element after uh, plus is considered as the right element okay okay here k is the right element okay. i placed k and this is the edge that i have to place here because this is a tree and uh, we have to place the edge here Okay, better I can take this one. Okay, then uh, this part is over. Then I have to take care of this one. Uh, scanning from left to right, we have a plus symbol here. We are going to split the elements before plus is considered as a left left subtree, and elements after uh, plus is considered as a right subtree elements. So inserting new shape here okay I don't need this much of a big size of a novel okay I'm taking this one here okay then this part also considered and uh, creating the shape for this okay some more beautification is required. I am going to reduce the size of this uh, oval, sh oval, and I am taking this one to the right. I am taking this one to the uh, position.
okay here um, we splitted the, the things into two okay uh, beautifying this one okay then then we have a left subtree and a right subtree elements and in this case uh, all the operators having the same priority uh, plus and slash are the operators both are having the same priority so we can take the uh, because our association rule for plus and uh, plus star and slash are uh, left to right so we are uh, taking the we are scanning from left to right and taking the last uh, operator here minus is the sorry slash is the operator so i am taking the other two elements as a, a left element and placing here okay and i am taking the c i am taking c as a right child of this particular uh, tree okay okay then we have one more tree here one more uh, this one here one more uh, expression is pending okay i'm taking this one here okay uh, i am going to split this tree into two again we are having a uh, slash and the star are the operators we are having same priority for both the operators so i am taking the rightmost one okay i am taking the i slash f as a element okay as the right element okay and uh, the left subtree are e and f so i have to reduce the size of this one because uh, then only it will come to the position this is a way that we are creating a binary expression tree and we have another method of uh, creating an expression tree with the postfix expression but this is too simple for creating a binary tree and here we have only one operator so no point of uh, comparing the priority and all so i am taking uh, one as a left subtree and another one as in the right right element okay inserting the element okay, here it's uh, ea and again inserting a shape here this is uh, b time for beautification um just completing the work okay here also the same e slash f only one operator i'm going to split it as it is this is e okay and uh yeah okay and uh, here also we have a tree like this okay i think almost all are completed so this is a tree so what you have to do is you have to draw uh, this expression tree in your uh, textbook uh, sorry in your notebook and uh, 
uh, clarify how to create because this is a, this may be a question for a two or a three marks so that will be this will be easy technique for uh, creating an expression tree another technique is there for convert, convert the expression into a postfix expression and then creating a binary tree with the help of a stack that we will discuss in the next video and these are the tree and uh, if you are taking the pre order of this particular tree you will get the uh, prefix expression. If you are taking the post order traversal of this tree, you will get the postfix expression. If you are if you are uh, processing this, if you are taking the in order traversal of this tree, you will get the in or in infix expression. Okay, thank you. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any doubt, uh, we will discuss in the Google Meet. Okay, thank you.